this the 20 lap AMRA modified main event with Gene Smith in car number three and Ronnie Johnson in 32 in row one. It's Barney Craig, the 71C with Mike Breck alongside in row two. Row three, Kevin Gossard in the one car with the interstate battery entry alongside. That's Mike Free in 18. Roger Unverfurth and Bob Fricky make up the fourth row. Off turn four, we'll pick up the leaders. It's Ron Johnson back to one and two with Mike Breck already knocking on the door. It's Johnson and Breck the top two. Further back, a lot of racing there. Plenty of it as they mix it up off turn four. Mike Free running fourth in the Interstate Battery 18 car. Working the high side with Tabler looking inside of him. Mike Free in car number 18 in the Interstate Battery entry off turn four. Looks good here tonight at Limerland. He is currently running fourth. A race for the lead up front. It's Mike Breck inside of Ron Johnson. They go double wide, but the caution lights are out. For there, the 70 car of Terry Klopfenstein. Caution on the speedway. Mike Breck is your leader over Ronnie Johnson, Roger Unverfurth, and Mike Free, the top four. Going back to green flag racing, Breck and Johnson will show the way off turn four. Back in one and two, Johnson and Unverfurth dancing for the second spot. Unverfurth takes a peek inside of the 32 it won't happen there looks inside of johnson off three and four off turn four unverfurt down on the bottom in the pyramid farm putting them oil harris chevrolet unverfurt disposing of johnson but johnson comes right back to challenge unverfurt back to three and four whoa contact in three and four wow check it it looked like the 32 car got into the back end of roger unverfurt sent him sliding both cars involved there's the 32 car of johnson parked up against the steel retaining wall with the other car the four car of roger unverfurth who was running second there was definitely some contact there caution on the speedway as we get set to go back to green flag racing we'll keep an eye up front as mike breck shows the way in three and four off turn four Back in one and two, Mike Breck continues to lead the hard charger from Lipsick, Ohio. That's a new laser chassis for Mike Breck in 95, built by Johnny Staples. But I'll tell you what, Frankie Lucini in a hurry, and we've got another car in trouble on the backstretch. You'll see a black car there parked against the outer retaining wall. That's Jim Keene in 71. The caution lights are back on. Putting a lap on the 70 of Terry Klopfenstein. Breck has really, really got a handle on it tonight. Watching him off turn four, still working the lap traffic. That's the 77 of Russell Hodges. As, wow, close there. The 88 of Ullery giving Breck a little trouble there, but nonetheless, Breck is safely on by off turn four. While Breck continues to show the way, we'll go back a little farther and check the race for second, third, and fourth, there's Frankie Lucini, the yellow 52 car. He's still running second, but further back is the 18 car of Mike Free in the Interstate Battery car, giving it a whale of a run tonight in the top three with the white flag out, white flag out. Let's pick up the 20 car in turn three. There, car number 20, Mike Breck safely off turn number four. Checkered flag for the hard charging Mike Breck. Running second is Frankie Lucini. A great run from the Interstate Battery car. Mike three, Mike Free, that is, running third. And Sammy Halcom coming all the way from 18th to run fourth. And Bob Fricky rounds out the top five.